Hey, it's Glenda Meyer, Veteran Mortgage Advisor, and I am here with Gina Roman, Roman Insurance. She is so informational about everything. She can answer all your questions. So one of the questions I came up with, Gina, that I thought would be good to get out there is when a home buyer has to buy homeowner's insurance, there can be exclusions and exceptions, and I've seen a few of them as well. But why don't you talk to us about the kind of things that are either going to get excluded or are going to make the homeowner's insurance increase? Yeah, a lot of companies will straight out reject certain situations. Any animal that has a history of biting is often immediately a reason for someone to say that that's not going to be something that they want to cover, and it may even cause them to not want the application at all. There are some carriers that if you have certain breeds of animals, they just want to know if there's a bite history, they may exclude that coverage altogether, depending on the breed of the dog. And some carriers don't mind. So you just have to be really honest with your agent and let them know if you have any pets or any exotic animals that you want to specifically include or if you're okay with that being excluded from the policy you kind of want to get in front of that and not have that something be come and come back at you that you didn't know about it and at the very end you kind of go well wait a minute i thought this was already included in the policy um, the other thing that people don't think about are pools that have slides and pools with diving boards are sometimes things that again throw up flags to underwriters that that's just something that may be a little bit too dangerous Sometimes pools that don't have fences or are not enclosed with like the right safety features, they want to make sure that they're not taking on more risk than they even know about. So they're okay with you having a pool. They just need to know these things in advance. Um, they are a little bit nitpicky sometimes with people that have drones. So drones uh, can be a hobbyist kind of adventure, but if it's something that is going to create risk for the insurance company, they definitely want to know about those kinds of things up front. So the more you can share is better. I have a question about drones. Like how does that, how does a drone make something think, like how, how does that create a liability issue? Um, you're creating, like if you're controlling something with your hands and it's flying above your home or above somebody else's home and it causes damage to somebody else's, uh, it, it could be to their home, it could be to their building structure, it can be to even like a satellite dish. So or it like, like crashes that. through the bedroom window, your right. neighbor's bedroom window while you're peeping in it. That's with correct. Their they want to make sure that they know that you're out there or that your kids are out there with this little uh, this little device that might cause damage. Interesting. Anything else you're seeing that can really either cause a problem um, from a liability standpoint or some other equipment that's just too dangerous? Most insurance carriers won't. Those are mostly it. Believe it or not, they're actually totally fine with golf carts. Like you can, <laughs> that's, that's not a problem. Um, even those little pocket bikes, which I find to be uh, dangerous, but the insurance carriers don't have a problem with that. So no, there's a lot of stuff that they're, they're completely okay with. Just check with your agent anytime you have something that might be a little bit unique. Well, hopefully you're going to be their agent. And at what point then should a home buyer reach out to you if they have, you know, a biter dog, a drone, and a trampoline in their backyard? Like, should they just reach out to you right away once they... Yeah. Once they've realized this home's got a pool, a diving board, they're bringing over their three dangerous dogs and they have a trampoline, that's the time to get yeah. in front of it and get with you Correct. and say, hey, how much is our insurance going to be? Correct. Okay, perfect. Wow, that is good advice, Gina. Thank you so much. Thank you.